Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mandal. With a simple experiment, you are going to find the Avogadro's number in today's lab. Let's get started. We'll start with the calibration of pipette, which is counting drops in to make one milliliter in the graduate cylinder. We'll start with getting some stearic acid in a test tube. So I'm going to use the pipette, fill in stearic acid, and then add drops in the graduate cylinder to make it one milliliter. So the stearic acid solution is in hexane. When you try to use a pipette, there will be pressure and it will push the drops very fast and you will not be able to count it. So you got to fill it up a couple times to saturate the inside of the pipette with hexane vapors. Now you can start adding. This is exactly one milliliter. I counted 76 drops. I'm going to do a second trial for the calibration. I'm going to start adding. So we are going to measure the diameter of the watch glass with the ruler. So I have two watch glass. I'm going to rinse it with some DI water. So do not wipe it with a paper towel, just rinse it with water. Now I'm going to fill it up with DI water from a wash bottle. So both my watch glasses are filled up to the top. Now I'm going to start adding my steric acid to make a lens which persists for at least 30 seconds. I'll wait for the water to be stable and then go ahead and get started. So my water surface looks stable and I will go ahead and get started to add my steric acid with the pipette. I'm going to count the drops and see how many drops it takes to make a lens. Twenty drops. So 
this is going to be my second trial. So I will go ahead and do a third trial. Start adding stric acid and hexane.